Last year, the two-way trade reached $758 billion, and that was a 19% increase year on year. So that just means, despite all these talks about the political rhetoric uh, about decoupling or de-risking, I think at the business level, at the you know trade level, um, two countries do have a lot of ground to cooperate. Um, this is despite you know the Trump administration's uh, punitive tariffs now is already five years in a row. That $250 billion worth of Chinese imports are still subject to 25% of the tariff rate. So this is very high. And yet, I think, you know, this did not prevent two countries from trading with each other. That said, I think the Biden administration has been insistent on the so-called de-risking strategies. Mm -hmm. uh, that means the export ban on these high-tech exports to mm -hmm. China. And yet, at the same time, they worried about, you know, the trade imbalances, the deficits. Um, and at the same time, they're not willing to ship, um, you know, these uh, semiconductor chips that China wants. Yeah. Um, they're also, you know, uh, banning or restricting investments in quantum computing, in AI, in semiconductor industries in China. And last but not the least, um, you know, they're also putting many uh, Chinese companies on their entity list, right. preventing them from cooperating. So I think, you know, there's still a lot of economic headwinds between the two countries. Yeah. But I think, at, again, commercial and business level, we see a lot of um, intention, yeah. uh, a lot of uh, efforts to continue to trade with each other.